All right, so last time we finished scumbling, um, we had our value scale from one to 10. We labeled our uh, technique. Remember, it's like scribbling, but it's intentional. It's not just careless scribbling. Um, as you can see, each one of my forms looks three-dimensional because I have my light source. I've accurately rendered my shadow with those values. And then all I'm gonna do is just erase my pencil lines to make sure that it looks like form and that we didn't make that look like cartoons. So we should see those edges between the differences of values, not an outlined shape. So now our final ink drawing technique is called cross hatching. So just like before, we're going to label our technique as cross hatching. We're going to have our value scale of 1 to 5, or I'm sorry, 1 to 10. My 10's a little small, but that's okay. All right, so with cross hatching, this might be a little bit easier for some of you to grasp just because it's more mechanical in a way to do the value scale at least, um, rather than the forms once we get to those. So once again, the concept of ink drawing is that the closer things are together, the darker it's going to appear, the further things are apart, the lighter it's going to appear. So I'm just gonna do some lines all the way across all of my value scale. Okay. Now for the one box, I'm going to leave it alone because that's the lightest I want it to be. So going in a different direction, I'm going to start with box two. And as we overlap our lines, they become closer together. So you should be able to see that one is lighter than the rest of them so far. It doesn't really matter which direction you start off in, as long as each time you're adding, you're going in a different direction. So I've got one, two, three. Uh, now I'm gonna go across. Now I'm going to go at a little bit of an angle. You can go in the same direction you have already but keeping your lines closer together, you can make more of that illusion of the values. All right, one last final time, we're going to have our forms here that we're going to do with our light sources and our shadows. Our 3D forms. using my eraser to clean up the lines within my shapes, because right now they're shapes. Once we shade them and give that illusion of 3D, then they will be the illusion of form. So with cross hatching, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that for our value scale, we just went in straight lines just to show the difference of value. But what we want to do is show value and form. So I'm actually going to show you the sphere because 
the direction that we use our cross hatching in is going to be very important to give that illusion of form. Just like when you guys learned about your cross contour lines, okay, it was very important that you didn't go straight across the form, that you went around the form. So as always, we're building on skills you already know. So for the lightest value, just gonna go around like that. And then as I look at the light, it's gonna be on the opposite side of that light source. So I'm just gonna keep overlapping, trying to go in those curves. Making sure that I'm giving that illusion, keeping in mind that I'm overlapping. So keeping my lines close together for where I want it to be darker. And then spreading further apart. So let's do another one so that way you can see a little bit easier. I'll go ahead and do the pyramid this time. So this is gonna be my darkest side. I find it's usually easier to start with the darker side first, just because if you accidentally go too close together, it's a little bit easier to fix. Make sure that you're stopping your lines right at your edge. And since this is a flat face, I can make sure that all my lines are straight to show that contour. This side's gonna be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna do my lines a little bit further apart. Now I also want to make sure I have the shadow here. Overlapping further out while keeping where I've already drawn as my darkest shadows. And always closer to your object is going to have the darkest areas. I'm going to try to have those transitions, gradual changes of value as it goes further out. So just like before, fill in your other forms and then make sure you get that, that done on your own if you don't have time to finish.